Wednesday. Hopefully you guys can hear me. I am outside, obviously. Um, just got my nails done. I tried oval shape or almond shape, which I've never tried before. Um, also got my toes done. I'm about to head to Ulta, but I wanted to check in real quick before I start doing all of these things. Um, this will probably be just another weekend vlog, honestly. Um, I am working this weekend, but not today, because today is Friday. Um, but I'm working Saturday and Sunday, and I know you guys seen earlier this week um, that I worked Sunday as well. I don't really have too much planned as of right now. So it's like I'm getting me, but enjoying the outside air while I can. So I will see you guys in a little bit, probably when I get to Ulta or while I stop up. Okay, so this is what I got from Ulta. I got the Shea Moisture Manuka Honey Hair Mask. I used to use this years ago, um, but my hair is like super dry and it's always super dry when I take it out of braids. So I'll definitely be using this because I'm probably taking my braids out next week. Um, then I got the Long Lasting All Nighter Setting Spray from Urban Decay. I got this Juvia's Place lip gloss. Um, it's called Honey Honey. I'm hoping that it's good. I've never used Juvia's Place, so I'm really hoping it's good. And then I got the Clinique Moisture Surge Intense because the girl's skin is always dry. And I need this, but I got it in the fun size since I really don't feel like I'm gonna need a full size. Like, it would take me forever to use a full size. This is the fun size, like outside of the packaging. And I think that's a good size to start off with. If I like it, I'll get a full size, but I really don't think I'm gonna need a full size. But yeah, I only got a few things out of Ulta because they was tripping in there. Um, but yeah, I got everything I came for though. That's the main part. So yeah, I will talk to you guys later. I know it's raining and it's probably loud, but we are headed to the improv. We're going to see Mary Davis. I've never seen Mary Davis. And it's my first time going to a comedy club, so hopefully it's a good experience. But I'm nervous because we are not early. We are almost late. So hopefully it's good. They don't say nothing about it. See you guys when I get there. I never even like gave y'all a recap. I never explained nothing. Um, but Deary Davis was great. He was so funny. Um, I'm actually about to head into work soon, but I wanted to update you guys on that. Uh, I had when I got my nails done, all that good stuff. I know I showed you guys that. Um, but we went to see Deary Davis. Um, I did not know this, but when you go to like an improv, 
you cannot film it whatsoever. Um, my husband gladly let me know that as soon as I stopped recording. I was like, wow, okay. Well, I guess I won't be getting any footage for you guys. Sorry. But, yeah, so, I mean, it was good, though. Like, it was great. Uh, we had food. We had drinks. The jokes were joking. Um, so, yeah, if you guys have never seen D-Ray Davis, definitely recommend him because he was good. Um, and none of that, like, super, super disrespectful stuff. He was just funny. Like, it was just good. Um, but since then, I have been to work. <laughs> I've been off, cooked, all of that good stuff. Y'all, tell me why. What was it, two days ago? My son broke our living room TV. He somehow knocked it over. So we had to move our bedroom TV, which is a little bit smaller, out into the living room just temporarily until this week we're going to get another TV. Um, but we just haven't gotten it yet. So, yeah. Also, I took my braids out, as you guys can see. It's just so much to update y'all on. I took my braids out. Um, I'm rocking my natural for a little bit. I don't know if y'all know, but I did cut, like, literally all my hair off last year. In September. <laughs> so, this is a year's worth of growth. I think it's grown in pretty well. Um, but I will let y'all know, like, before I cut my hair off, I did like stop getting relaxers because you guys know I went back to relaxers if you watch my old videos I stopped getting relaxers for a year and then now this is a year after I cut it all off so yeah I think she's doing well I think it's going good um my son and my husband are actually at a football game I wish I could show you guys clips but I literally don't have any but yes they are at a football game enjoying themselves um and I might work because that's the other thing I'm not even sure if you guys know but I think you guys know um I work weekends only I do not work during the week I only work weekends um so most of the free time things that I do are during the week and every once in a while when I have a Friday off or something then I'll do something on that day too but most of the time I'm doing things during the week um and yeah I make more money working on the weekends. I'm going to have an upcoming uh, video coming up about my first nursing paycheck and um, what you can do as a nurse to make more money because there's different things you can do even as a staff nurse to make money like what I did now by working weekends. Um, so yeah, guys will probably have seen that video maybe before this one. I'm not sure. I may put this one out before. I don't know. Um, but I've been trying to get enough footage for you guys. So that it's a good enough vlog because I do want my vlogs to be longer they're typically only like 20 minutes and I definitely want them to be closer to like that hour range that's just I don't know I find that's what people like and I want to give what the people like so yeah um, but it is Saturday um, another Saturday I should say I am like I said about to go into work Nikki things you know um, I don't know if y'all still can't see my shirt. Hold on. Try not to show my badge. But where the little things matter. Hashtag Nikki. It's so cute. Um, it's from Amazon. I got a bunch of t-shirts from Amazon. So if you guys want this shirt, that's where it's from. But yeah, I will talk to you guys later and I'll see y'all in a little bit. Look at her. Look at the woman, man. Look at her. That ain't my. That ain't my. That ain't my girl. That's my nigga. Catch me out on ocean drive with her. Catch me in the whip, ride with her. Hey, sipping something, bumping big, hypnotized with her. Pray you get that job in Tampa. That's only four hours away. Take a car, take a plane, baby. Hey y'all. Clearly, I have just got off work. Um, it is 7 a.m. in the morning. Um, I think the last time y'all see me, I don't even know, honestly. But I just got done working three of three, another three of three. Look at my head. 
you if I got a scrub cap on, just know my head looks crazy, and that's why I have a scrub cap on. Um, but yeah, y'all, I just wanted to check in. I'm off for another four days. I'm trying to get some content in. Um, I wanted this vlog to go out sooner, but then I checked how much content I have, and girl, it was nothing. It's mostly montage, mostly be real. So. I decided to check in with y'all uh, for a little bit just to let y'all know what is going on. Um, I actually scheduled a lash appointment today at 9 a.m. like a crackhead. And so I can't go to sleep yet. <laughs> I'm gonna just try not to snore on these people's table and hope for the best. I'm gonna probably like close my eyes for an hour if I can, get right back up, get dressed, go to my lash appointment. And then I'll sleep after my last appointment. But, you know, spur of the moment decisions. And also, I want to be you. And it's the sacrifices that you make. But yeah, y'all. Um, I also have to do my hair, which is more than likely not going to be today. Um, I'm doing a quick weave. So hopefully it turns out right. I have only done one quick weave in my life. And I didn't like it. So, hopefully, this one turns out right. I don't know, but I hope so. Um, but I had a good three of three. I worked in the chronic care pod tonight, well, in the last two nights. So, I was working with, like, the 18-month-olds, like, toddlers, pretty much. Um, it was a good three days. It was easy. It just was long. I finished my, ew, I finished my book. So, I have to get a new book. Um, but that's nice. It took me, what, like, two months to finish my book? I read The Help. Have you guys have seen the movie? The book is better. Definitely recommend the book. Um, I think the next book I'm going to get is probably The Vanishing Half. Um, I've seen a lot of people read that book. And then I read like the synopsis of the book. It looks really good. So I think that's going to be my next one. I'll probably order it today. Probably here tomorrow. So by the time I go back to work on Friday for another weekend schedule, um, it was it'll be good. By the way, um, it is September, just to get you guys a timestamp. It is September 18th today. Um, last week was Nikki Nurse Week. Um, so my job handed out these cute little badge reels and these like colorful pins. I got one that says bottle service. It is so cute. Um, as soon as I seen it, I was like, that's the one I'm getting. There was a bunch of them in there, like uteruses and little baby feet and stuff, but this bottle service one, tell me it's not cute because plenty of nurses also like bottle girls. And I just felt like, you know, <laughs> in another life, maybe I was a bottle girl. But yeah, I'm sleepy, clearly, and rambling. So I'm gonna try to get this hour nap that I'm cutting out of. And then get on this last appointment so i'll see y'all later hey y'all excuse my hair of course uh, oof. like i said it was looking rough but this is me after the film or after the full set i'm so sorry <laughs> i was in there so sleep girl why was that i that asleep oh my gosh I'm so embarrassed, but I love my lashes. They are so cute. I feel like she did such a good job. Um, they also really do not feel, they really don't feel like anything. Like they feel great. So I think I'm gonna like this. Um, the whole experience I really did like. Shout out to Christine. Um, but yes, I'm gonna go home and actually get some sleep and actually hang out with my baby. So I will see you guys in a little bit. I don't know if I'm going to check back in today, but I will see you guys. Hey, y'all. I just want to check in with you guys. Do not mind my whitening strips. Um, and I hope that my um, frequency music is not bothering you guys. But I had it on because my baby is sleeping. But I just want to check in because it is a new day. Um, I ended up doing my hair. Hate it, actually. Um, it's a quick weave, but, like, my leave out is not doing what it's supposed to do. So, I don't like it, but I'm not going to take it out. I'm just going to pray that my leave out gets better as I keep wearing it and as I keep putting this scarf on. Because, you know, you're natural and you're trying to wear, you know, 
a quick weave up or whatever with leave out it's just uh always an issue trying to get your leave out to blend and i'm just like hating seeing it but i do like the quick weave that's the thing i like the quick weave i just don't like my leave out in it then let's talk about how i tried to fix my eyebrows like just touch them up clean them up whatever damn that took my whole eyebrow off like it's already been a rough day but day is pretty much over it's like 5 p.m it took me five hours to do a quick weave because you know when you have kids they want your attention all the time and plus i had to wash my hair before all of this so it just took forever um i still have to cook for tonight cooking dinner i'm gonna make bacon and salmon crab cakes and um mashed potatoes so maybe that'll perk me up for the night i got talented ice cream so we shall see um but i'm really just about to chill since my baby's sleeping chill wait till my husband gets back and um probably watch some tv yesterday i watched baddies and i, I have told y'all before baddies is like my little guilty pleasure baddies that used to look so good like the first episode was pretty good. Like, they get straight to it. You know what they were here to do. You know what they came to do. <laughs> and it was pretty good. Um, I always watch with my mom, even though my mom was in another city. She was in my hometown. Um, we watch together on FaceTime. I don't know if anybody else does that, but I do that with my mom. Because my mom is my best friend. So, yeah. But um, I need to see what time it is also got more glasses i don't know i think i had these on yesterday um but i've been buying my glasses from zelo if you guys do not know i'm not sponsored of course but i just found about zelo just because i've seen a lot of people have it but um i just never tried it and then i didn't know that they did prescription glasses like you can get all the cute firms i feel like these are so cute um and i have some clear ones those are cute too but yeah i really like zelo now i'm just rambling but yes i just want to check in with you guys let you guys know what i'm going have going on i'll probably cook uh i'll show you guys what i'm cooking i'm cooking regardless but i'll probably show you guys what i'm cooking tonight um and just watch a little tv me and my husband are gonna watch some comedy tonight some stand-up and that'll be it <laughs> Hey y'all, so this is the food. It is salmon, crab cakes, and mashed potatoes. This is my husband's plate. He likes this like white wine bell pepper, bell pepper sauce I make. And I really like that. So that's his. We're not gonna show mine because mine kind of broke apart. My salmon broke apart, but it's like brown sugar because that's what I like. Um, yeah, but his plate looks amazing. Hey y'all, so I am leaving the doctor's office, as y'all can see, arm is wrapped up. Just got my next one on. Um, I was on the pill before this, just so y'all know. Um, but I decided to go back to next one on because I was on it for years, it worked for me. But um, yeah, so now I'm about to head home, go to Starbucks, excuse my hair, it's hot, it's Florida. And my leave out is annoying, still still um but it's better today than it was yesterday so that says a lot um but yeah i do like my hair i like having a quick weave but it's just like i said the leave out problem that's the problem i don't like but then lace also annoys me so that's neither here nor there but i will see y'all later i'm about to go get my starbucks me for me and my husband and head home bye
Hey y'all, so it's a new day. Um, yesterday I basically spent the day cleaning mostly um, and then we had seafood and we watched TV, watched a movie, had some wine. That was about it. It was a very, very, very chill day. It was my first day off. So um, honestly, I have had terrible habits in these days that I'm off when I'm working now that I've just started having the four days off in a row. My hair is in the closet, by the way. Um, but regardless, um, yeah, y'all. It's been a struggle trying to get into a routine, trying to balance work and life. And I just feel like I'm forcing myself now to kind of get into better habits, better routines so that I can have a more productive life. Um, so I've basically said that Monday, since it's my first day off, is going to be my reset days. If you guys hear any banging, that's my son, of course. Um, life of having a one girl. But yes, so Mondays are going to be like my cleaning reset days. Um, I've started taking walks with my son so that I can get a little bit of exercise and I don't take it too hard on Mondays because I literally just got up for a few hours ago. Mm -mm. So I've, you know, been kind of working on that. Um, this week, actually, I don't have too many plans. Um, I've had a couple doctor's appointments as you've seen in the past few weeks. Um, Anyway, um, yeah. In the past few weeks, so like this week, I really don't have like crazy plans to be honest with y'all. Uh, we're gonna be moving in two weeks. Yay! New apartment. I'm so sick of our current apartment. Um, I just want a place that's more like. I don't know what you call it. Like, I need a place that's more sleek. Like, this place is too homey for me. I don't like it. Um, I'm really sick of it. I liked it when we first moved in, and now I'm just over it. Also, we need more space. Because right now, um, when we first moved in here, we were, like, rooming in with our baby. Because, obviously, he was only, like, five months. So, we only got a one bedroom. Now, he needs his own room. I'm sick of it. Uh-uh. He's got to go. Don't tell him that. But he's got to go. He's gotta go to his own room, like, mm, mm So, we're getting a two-bedroom, yay! Um, <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna get, we're ha getting a two-bedroom already. It's more a homey too, because we have an attached garage. It's kind of like a townhome feel without it being two stories. I'm so excited um, to show you guys a new place once we move there, but that probably won't be till like the next vlog. Um, and that's another thing. I've been trying to get more videos out trying to get you guys like one vlog every month um and then a couple like sit down talk videos because it seems like that's what my subscribers like is the sit down talk explaining all the nursing things that i've learned um spilling the tea because a lot of people do not on youtube which i don't know why um because a lot of the things that i've been telling literally do not affect me whatsoever like it doesn't affect my job it doesn't affect my well-being it's just gatekeeping at this point. That's what I feel like. And I wanted this information when I was becoming a nurse, when I was in nursing school and when I was a new nurse and there was no one on here telling the truth, like telling the truth, spilling the tea, telling what it really is, how to get ahead. Like no one was doing that. So, um, yeah, that's one thing that I've been trying to do um with these nurse talk videos giving my experiences which is real experiences i'm not sugarcoat i'm not making anything up um and i'm kind of just talking you guys through my journey and where i'm at right now so yeah um because right now i feel like i'm at a turning point in my career i'm at a year and a half of being a nurse um i'll be two years in april of next year and i'm trying to figure out like basically what's 
next. I don't think I'll be switching specialties or anything crazy like that, but I'm trying to figure out what's next in my career. Um, also, I'll let y'all know the rest in another video. <laughs> I'm not gonna spill all tea in this video. But y'all will get a sit down, kind of longer talk about um, what is my nursing goals right now and what I'm planning. So, yeah. Also, trying to get into journaling. I'm really just trying to, like I said, get a work, better work life balance, make more time for me because it is hard being a nurse. Um, and then being a mom on top of being a nurse is, is, it's a lot. So, um, yeah, child, that's where I'm at right now. I worked out a little bit earlier. I have not ate anything yet. I'm not even gonna show y'all the time, what I have ate. I'm really giving girl dinner, girl breakfast, girl lunch. Cause why, why is women do we forget to eat? Why is that? That's what I want to know. Why is that? I feel like we have so many other things going on that we just don't think about eating. Like, that's what it gives for me. Like, it just don't be on my brain like that. Um, but I'm still not sure really what I'm going to eat. Let me show sure what I'm going to eat. Like, I really don't want anything. I think I'm also going to take these nails off today. I am just so sick of going to nail salons and getting acrylics paying all of this money because they're overcharging now and i'm not i don't know what i want to eat and that's like the biggest issue don't 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 judge my cabinet <laughs> um i'm thinking about just eating cereal at this point because it's really not giving anything else blind and love is blind it pisses me off every single season. Like, every single season. They always bring the same brand of people on there. And I can't stand it. Like, they pass over all the good people. These people really aren't, like... They just want to be on TV. They are not thinking about marriage. They're thinking about reality TV. What's going to make me, you know, pop and all of this stuff. But usually, they're terrible people on Love is, Love is Blind. I hate it. But I still watch it. <laughs> Is that going to stop me from watching it though? No, because I'm a reality TV geek now.
somebody text me in a crisis I believe that all of your dreams are decorations You took my heart, all my keys, and my patience You took my heart, all my sleep, for decorations You mistake in my love, I brought for you for foundation All that I wanted from you was to keep me Something that I never had Something that you never seen Something that you never been mm-hmm. But I wake up and then nothing's wrong Just get ready for work, 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 work To me, I be work, 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 work You see me do me that, 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 that So tell me about that work, 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 work Da, 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 da When you walk out, da, 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 da Before the table, da, 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 da Beg you something, please Step out, get some in now, let's go edge out To some ice, but you'll be heavy in my mind Can you get the heck out? I need grass now, got me bummed out You so, you so, you Baby, baby, baby I've been on my empty mind, shit I try to keep from touching the best of me I will be that I wasted the best of me All oh, your baby, you don't care Sometimes when I be a nuisance, it's just urgent Trying to make some simple little change Got me a war in my mind Gotta let go away, think he was holding me To the right, but it will be looking for 